If your woman tells you these 10 things, leave her. Do not stick with her. Do not stay by her. It is very toxic for you to be in such a relationship. Relationship is not bed of roses. I know that nobody is perfect, like a lady told me at the comment session. But most women use that to hide their atrocities. Nobody is perfect. Because of that, you are not willing to work on those your negative area. Because of that, you begin to decay. Nobody is perfect, but there are people that are worse than others. There are women that are more peaceful. You are with them, you are happy. But there are others, your life is a living here. So don't allow a woman to tell you nobody is perfect. You can work on yourself. Yes, when the person living with you is living in hell, you cannot conclude nobody is perfect. Life is too short. Men, be happy. Number one, if she is always talking about herself, she never acknowledges anything that pertains to you. It is always about her areas of interest. Maybe something big or spectacular has happened in your life. Something good. You are talking about it. She will just dismiss it. Or just speak a little. And take the issue back to herself. Your sources should be her sources. If you are in pain, you are in difficulty. You are talking about this. You don't expect a woman that loves you to change the issue back to herself. Or something big, you were promoted or you bought a car. Let her celebrate with you. But if you see that she's now diverting from that issue, taking it back to herself, that means your achievement, your life means nothing to her. And most of these women, you see them saying, that's by the way. They push you off. That's by the way. Oh, really? Eh, I almost forgot. They will just jump into their issue. Jump into their own issue. When you are telling them something important. Oh, really? <laughs> that's by the way. Hey, what I was saying. Uh -uh. Is it always about you? Number two. I'm busy. It is normal for every human, every responsible human being, to be busy at one time or the other. But when you are with a woman who is always busy, it is not healthy for your relationship. Because I know of some men, they are busy. They do this 9 to 5 job. They still create out time to call their women, to communicate, to answer messages from people they like. I don't have time, I don't have time. Every human being that is living in this earth has time, except you are dead. Just that you choose what is your priority. Whenever you test this woman, she's not responding. When you call her, she's not responding. At times, when she responds, hello? Ah, oh, please, can you call back? I'm in the middle of something. She's always cutting you short. When will she settle down to receive your calls? When will she create all that time for you? A woman that is too busy, busy enough to ignore your need, to ignore your attention, and not giving you her own attention, it's not fit to be your woman because you as a man, you deserve to be pampered. You deserve to be cared for. You deserve every attention, even if not every time. But she should create a time. As you are busy, you balance your relationship. Always too busy, it could only show that she does not enjoy your company. Yes, she has some other person she is busy with. Number three, choose between me and this. Most women that have this ego, they always use this statement. You have to choose between me and this. And some of them, they use this word when they want to control you. Maybe there is something they don't want you to do. Or a place they don't want you to go. Or somebody they want you to avoid or abstain from. They want to impose it on you. Maybe you told them, no, babe, I can't. They will tell you, okay, you have to choose between that woman and me. You have to choose between that thing and me. She has no rights. When a woman starts placing you in a condition, she does not value you. When a woman tells you to choose between herself and something else, you are now making it mandatory for you to start obeying them or doing everything they wish. That is toxic. Number four, my ex used to. My ex used to. If your woman is constantly talking about her ex in a relationship with you, it's very unheard. My ex used to. She has not gotten over her ex. 
She has not moved on. Maybe at times you are doing something. Ah, my ex used to arrange that thing differently. Is she trying to compare you? When a woman is focused in a relationship, she forgets her past. If she is still tied to her ex, then let her go back to that same ex. The next is your fault. You caused it. It's your fault. Does your woman always tell you this? It's your fault. When you offend her, you apologize. That's fine. You beg her. When she offends you, she does not apologize. There are some women, we call them never do wrong. Even when it is obvious that they are wrong, they will never accept that they are wrong. They will never accept. If not that you did this, I wouldn't have done this. When will you own up to your responsibility? When will you learn to apologize? Oh, I'm sorry. I should have done this differently. If your woman is always pushing blame on you, even when it is clear that she has a hand or she is wrong at some point or in some areas, she doesn't deserve to be with you. Leave her alone because she will never change. It is when you know that you are at fault, you have done something wrong, you try to work on yourself to become better. But when you see nothing wrong in all your wrong actions, you are always pushing blame. You never take responsibilities. That means you don't want to change. You see some men apologizing, even when they are not wrong for peace to reign. That is rubbish. You are spoiling her. How will she change? Again, when your woman is always pointing out flaws, your mistakes, there are some women they are good at this. Very annoying. I know some men too, they do this. All they know how to do is to bring out your bad side, your mistake. They never commend you when you do something wrong. They never compliment you. That same eyes that that woman would use to see something bad and point it out and insult you for that your wrong thing that you have done. They will not use that same eyes to recognize that good thing that you are doing to compliment you. They use that flaw to insult you. Please leave her alone. Yes, even if you are doing something wrong, a woman should come to you respectfully, advise you to change, advise you to improve, not to use that to insult you or bring you down. If your woman is always bringing you down because of your fault or error, break up with her. I said so. Though the choice is yours. If you have one fault or error that she always used to mock you, correction is done with love and respect. Look at how you did this. Is that how men behave? At times, some women make you feel so useless, as if you are not useful. They never see anything good, but they always see the negative. The next, I have no one else to help me or do it for me. These are terms, manipulative terms that women use. When a woman wants you to do everything for her, when you say no, ah, I have no one else to help me, a woman like this will want you to do everything for her financially and otherwise. You are not her God. You are not her savior. Don't solve all her problems for her. If she expects you to solve all her problems, who will now solve all your problems? No, you can help her out once in a while. But when some women tell you, I have no one else to help me, that is a manipulative word for you to keep on doing, doing, doing the caring. Relationship should not be one-sided. When you have not met, did she die? She was living even without you. So now that you are in her life, there are some things she should do without stressing you. Even if you are in a relationship, you will not kill that person with all your body. It's wrong. It's wrong. Next, when a woman tells you, we are not really serious. We are not into anything serious. That is, this woman is cheating. Maybe you caught her with a man. You will ask her, who is he? We are not really into anything serious. That means they are dating. Yes, even if she owns up, she confesses to you that, ah, I'm sorry, I was seeing him, but we were not serious. Break up with her. Do not condone cheating for any reason in the world. Hey, I was drunk. Hey, I was drug. Story, story, story. Did the man come to your house to drug you? Where were you when you were drunk? What were you doing? These are stories lies. See, men, if you want to take every other thing or manage to accept all the things we have discussed, do not take in a cheating woman because she is not only disrespecting you, she is breaking your trust. An unfaithful woman 
is a trash from a fellow woman. I'm a woman, but I'm telling you that an unfaithful woman is a trash, a debris that you should discard forever. Next, when she compares you with others, she uses phrases like, look at your mates, look at other men. You have a woman or a lady in your life that uses such words. Look at your mates now. You don't have a mate. Guys, you came to this world alone. Even if you are twin, you still came alone. You don't have a mate. Don't allow any woman to put you in pressure, pushing you in competition. Look at your mates. Look at others. A woman like this will never appreciate you. Her eyes are outside. She has eyes for other men. She can't be focused in that relationship. You better leave her now. What she's always telling you, look at others. Look at your mates. Look at what this man is doing. That kind of a woman is not a wife material. Even if you are married to her, give her space. If she never appreciates whatever you do, if she's always comparing you, she wants you to be like a person you are not. She wants you to do things like others. You have to leave your personality. Change into others. All in the name to please her. She is selfish. Let her go. Finally, obey me. When a woman tells you obey me, so it might not be blunt, but there is a way they put it. You have to listen to me. You must listen to me. When a woman is making it compulsory for you to take her decision, for you to follow her path, she does not deserve you. So I might not tell you obey me, but when they tell you something, when they make a decision, they want it to stand. They want you to live by that decision. And when you are not following that, they are quarreling. At times, some might even refuse to sleep with you if you are married. Have you done that thing that I ask you to do? If you want this, you know what to do. That is manipulation. Don't ever allow any woman to use any tactics to push you into obeying her all the time. You are the man. Even if you want to take what she's saying with love once in a while, you give her reasons. She gives you reasons. You come together and make a decision. Not for her to tell you, obey me. Because she has said it. That is how it will be. That is trash. She wants to be your man. And you become her woman. Don't take it from any woman. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. If you have not, make sure the bell notification is turned on. Do well and give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends. God bless you.